Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, a bit of everything, it's another book haul. Okay, so anyone who has been watching uh, the channel since I finished my 100 book challenge will know that I've been splurging a little bit on new books. Um, so I've got a few more that have I've either picked up or that have arrived through the post to go through with you um, now. A variety of different uh, genres and authors. Um, a few probably not surprises and some that may be more of a surprise. So let me go through them um, and show you what I've got. So first up is The Institute by Stephen King. Um, so one that I haven't read. I think I did get it out of the library in hardback when it first came out. Um, and tried it but couldn't get into it but I was buying another book on eBay and it was one of those deals where if you buy two you get 20% off or something so they had this one in that deal as well and it was only about three quid so I thought I would grab that. Um, a couple of um, Dennis Lehane's so these are I think the first two books in the um, Kenzie and Gennaro series so A Drink Before the War um, which is one I have I'm sure I've read before um, and Darkness Take My Hand. Um, I've got book three uh, coming as well, which is Sacred. Um, so yeah, looking forward to reading this whole series because I really, really like the Dennis Lane books I've read. I've read a few of his standalones. And as I say, I've read this one before. So looking forward to getting into that series. Um, in a similar-ish vein, um, this collection of three suspense novels by Richard Matheson. Um, so Matheson is an author whose horror and science fiction I really, really like. Um, so keen to try his um, his crime fiction as well. And I've also got um, a couple of his westerns coming from the US. Uh, so the stories that are in here, um, or the novels that are in here rather, are Someone is Bleeding, Fury on Sunday and Ride the Nightmare. Uh, which are three fantastic, fantastically noirish titles. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, here's one that I have read before. I had a paperback copy of this many, many years ago, The Kill Riff by David J. Show. So it's one of those books that seems to be, whoops, that seems to be quite expensive nowadays. But this um, hardback copy, albeit without its dust jacket, um, showed up cheap on eBay so I grabbed that I'm looking forward to reading this again I remember it being quite a good gripping horror novel um, also got and this is one I've been meaning to pick up for a while um, and again it was it was cheap on eBay the big book of pulps um, edited by Otto Penzler which has a huge number of um, pulp stories in it I think it collects three previous volumes that they've done one called the crime fighters one called the villains and one called the dames um, so I guess there's probably about 50 stories in here um, it's an absolute whopper uh, over a thousand pages and those pages are um, double columned uh, if that's the right term um, so yeah looking forward to this and one of the things I want to get into doing more with big books like this is just reading a couple of stories and then putting it back on the shelf for a while and then you know reading a couple more um, rather than feeling the compulsion to, to have to finish whole books in one go this seems like a very good example of a book that shouldn't be finished all in one go. Um, right, I've also picked up for um, June on the Range, the Western event in June, a stack of Louis L'Amour books. So um, L'Amour was, uh, you know, one of the huge writers of the Western genre in kind of the 50s, 60s, 70s, um, and comes highly recommended by um, a couple of other people who are doing the um, the June on the Range event. So uh, I think Steve Donahue and um, Michael K. Vaughan both recommended Louis L'Amour. So um, there was this stack on eBay that was like, I think, £10 for, for all of them. In fact, I think it ended up being less than £10 for all of them, including postage. So I grabbed them. So we've got um, a load of different things from, I don't know when these were initially published. Let's have a look at this one. So this is originally from 66. Um, so Mustang Man. Yondering, The Empty Land, Crossfire Trail, The Sackett Brand, which I think is part of a, a series he wrote, um, Shalako, um, which I've not heard of, but which was apparently filmed with Sean Connery and Bridget Bardot, which is quite a cast. Rivers West, High Lonesome, 
Mojave Crossing, Brion, War Party, and Under the Sweetwater Rim. So I think I'm going to try one of these. I might try one of these next, actually. I really fancy one of these. I certainly won't keep all of them for June on the Road. So I think I might try one of the ones that's definitely a standalone um, before we get to June on the Road and see what I think of um, see what I think of Louis L'Amour. Um, this one I showed in my um, June on the Range uh, kind of announcement video. Um, so The Adversary by Patrick Harnish, which is an arc that Patrick very kindly lent to me. So a kind of horror western, um, which looks really good. It's got a fantastic cover. Um, and uh, it sounds... I, I, I read out the blurb on my uh, June on the Range video, so I won't do it again, but it sounds really, really good. So, yeah, looking forward to reading that. A um, couple of other horror things. So a couple of um, Richard Lehman books that were recommended uh, to me by people while I was on my um, my book buying ban. Um, so Dreadful Tales, which is a collection of short stories, um, which is apparently fantastically pulpy. Um, there's a chunk of stories in here, about 20 stories in here, so they're nice and short. Um, but yeah, looking forward to dipping into that. Um, and also Fiends, which I think is a novel rather than a short story. Oh no, this is a short story collection as well. Um, yeah, so a couple of short story collections by Layman. I've never read any of his short stories, only his novels. Um, so yeah, looking forward to those. Uh, and then another series, I think this is the first six books um, in the Stainless Steel Rat series by Harry Harrison, um, which I know is much loved by um, both Gareth at Book Songs and Other Magic and David Wiley, um, as well as, I think, Michael K. Vaughan. So I read a few of these um, back when I was a teenager, um, and enjoyed them and read very recently Death World by Harry Harrison, um, which I really enjoyed. My dad's a big Harry Harrison fan and introduced him um, to me back in uh, back in my teenage years. So I can't remember what order they go in, but we've got The Stainless Steel Rat, The Stainless Steel Rat Saves the World, The Stainless Steel Rat's Revenge, The Stainless Steel Rat for President, The Stainless Steel Rat Wants You, and a stainless steel rat is born. So some of these are part of like the original series, if you like, and part of them, and I think this is one of them, are ones that Harrison wrote later on. So I think this one is actually from the 80s, whereas the others are kind of from the 60s. Yeah, this is 1985. So I think this is like a kind of prequel. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to reading those. Speaking of my dad, my dad lent me a couple of books when I popped home to see him and my mum the other day. So um, when I said I was reviewing crime on the channel, he... Uh, let me this the what's it called the restless dead by simon simon beckett um which he just finished so i read the first in this series which i think is called the chemistry of death years ago when i was on holiday and really enjoyed it so looking forward to this they're, they're kind of a forensic um forensic crime novels um and then he also let me space by james a michener so um this was highly recommended um by um michael romeo talks books um, who's a big, big fan of Michener. So this is one of the ones he said um, was one of his favourites. And my dad, I knew, had some Michener lying around. And this was one of the ones that was on his shelves. So I grabbed this off him as well. So looking forward to, to that. Um, and then last, but by no means least, a favourite book of mine, The Delinquents by Kroina Rowan. Um, so this is a 50s um, Australian romance. So not my not my normal kind of thing at all. Um, but I read it years and years ago and, and absolutely loved it and no longer have a copy of it. Um, and I saw this lovely old vintage uh, paperback copy on eBay um, and couldn't resist it. So isn't that a fantastic, uh, fantastic kind of 60s cover? Um, so this is essentially um, Corinne and Rowan set out to write um, a book that was Romeo and Juliet, but a contemporary version of Romeo and Juliet. So her, her premise was, you know, what if Romeo and Juliet were juvenile delinquents in um, in then modern Australia? Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice moving romance, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed when I when I read it before. Crying of Rome, very sadly, only wrote two books. Um, so this and another one called Down by the Dockside um, and then died of cancer very, very young while she was part way through her third book. Um, but, yeah, uh, she's a, a writer I really, really like. Um so that was my um, 
a, a, a quick book haul video for you. Um, let me know if you've read any of these as always. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got quite a nice mix of stuff there. And yeah, I think I will probably dive first into um, one of the one of the Louis Lemoors, maybe the first of the stainless steel rats books, and maybe one of those Richard Lehman short story collections. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've read any of these. Um, as always, hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading good stuff, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.